This convertible benefits from the generous size of its new platform. Compared with its predecessor, the car is 5.0 inches longer and 2.9 inches wider and rides on a 4.4 inch longer wheelbase. The rear seats are more spacious than before, they also offer available heaters. In a way, this is the first really class convertible since the W124 of the early and the 1990s. That car was replaced by the CLK, which had far more in common with the smaller C-Class. The outgoing E-Class Coupe and Cabriolet continued that approach, sharing their track and wheelbase dimensions with the C. The new model, like the new 2018 E-Class Coupe, is based on the E-Class sedan, for real. And that certainly helps to differentiate it from the C-Class Cabriolet. Perhaps the only unfortunate part is that there's no V8 in the E-Class lineup, except for the Mercedes-AMG E63 that won't be offered as a cabriolet. U.S. buyers get a 329-horsepower twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter V6, sold under the E400 moniker. Down the road, there might be a 3.0-liter inline-six boosted by an electric supercharger and a turbocharger offering more than 400 horsepower and marketed as the AMG E50. But such a model is still some way off, for now, the E400 is it. Its twin-turbo V6 is paired with a 9-speed automatic. All-wheel drive, you guessed it, is optional.